The birth of a child should be the happiest time for a new family. But according to the Arizona Department of Health Services, about 1,000 women die every year from complications related to pregnancy and childbirth. Cronkite News reporter Alexis Pulik spoke to a, a family who lost a new mother. Complications can arise during delivery or even several days after. That's what happened to Ariana Dotti, and her family doesn't want others to experience their suffering. Oh. It's supposed to be such a happy day, a celebration, and my, do my daughter goes into the hospital and doesn't come back out. Ariana Dotti's pregnancy was normal. In August, she gave birth to her third child. Everything appeared fine, but then she experienced complications. Yeah, I get a call from her mom saying that she's back in the hospital, and um, so I just go to the hospital and to find out what's going on. And when I got there, she was already uh, she was already passed. I spoke to the medical examiner's office yesterday and uh, her death is classified as natural causes and at, but it was the torn uterus where, where all the blood loss came from. Senator Kate Brophy McGee heard this family's story and wanted to help. McGee is sponsoring Senate Bill 1040. If passed, the bill would create a committee of medical experts to make recommendations to avoid maternal death. So the committee actually has two tasks, and the first is to make sure that the data is up to date and that we have accurate and complete data, not just for maternal mortality, but also maternal morbidity. And the second task is to develop recommendations from there for our hospitals, our birthing centers, our nurses, our doctors, our OBGYNs, to ensure that the proper care and follow-up following a birth is provided. According to the Global Burden of Disease study, the U.S. has a higher rate of maternal mortality compared to countries like Germany or Spain. In Arizona and the rest of the U.S., it's been getting worse year after year. And so the March of Dimes and a lot of other folks are really out there saying, hey, we've got the ability to do better. Let's do better and prevent some of these maternal mortality tragedies. Senate Bill 1040 passed the Senate and is being heard by the House Health Committee. I think that it's important to recognize the people that have come forward to share their story. These folks are working professionals, nurses, parents, and they take time out of their day to come down and talk about how important this is. Garcia hopes that this bill will help educate families on the risks associated with pregnancy and birth. I feel like ringing them an alarm bell, you know, so all the, the mothers and soon-to-be fathers could just be aware so they can go in and ask questions and be self-advocating. In the House Health Committee hearing today, Senate Bill 1040 was passed, and it will continue making its way through the legislature for possible approval. Alexis Pulik, Cronkite News.